You see, sometimes I know I myself with the emails I receive, and it's probably my own fault. I'm accused oftentimes of, and how this happens, I don't know. I mean, how can a Calvinist be, be accused of teaching works as a means of salvation? They say, you talk so much about the evidences of faith. And I say, yeah, but they're just that, they're evidences. You see, when we come to the Sermon on the Mount, you have to understand, as you read, Blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are the gentle, blessed are those who hunger and thirst, that if your doctrine of man and the depravity of man is correct, that all of this is an absolute impossibility. Jesus is not setting this before men, saying, if you do this, you will be my disciples. We realize, after reading these high standards in the Sermon on the Mount and in the Beatitudes, that something miraculous must happen to a man in order for these things to flow out of his life, literally become his life. And what is that? The lost doctrine in American Christianity. And I would say, the doctrine that is always lost whenever you see dark moments in so-called Christianity. And it is the doctrine of regeneration. You see, you have to understand this. Men are dead in their trespasses and sins. Men are born haters of God. Men cannot come to God because they will not come to God. And they will not come to God because they hate Him. And therefore, in the work of salvation, it must be preceded, or salvation itself must be preceded by a genuine, recreative, dynamic, supernatural work of the Holy Spirit in the heart of a person. That makes that person alive so that they might see properly and might respond properly to the claims of the gospel.